The man accused of causing a deadly crash on 95 in North Attleboro has been arrested and charged. Joseph Pompey of Cranston faced a judge today in Attleboro District Court. He denies ever making contact with another vehicle. Police also accuse him of leaving the deadly scene. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuda was in court this morning and has new information. Sheena. Well, according to court documents, and there are a lot of them in this case, state police say when they first spoke to Pompey, he wasn't really making sense with what he was telling them. However, he denies being involved. Uh, he did not stay uh, on scene to provide any information to uh, authorities. 50-year-old Joseph Pompey of Cranston answers to multiple charges Tuesday, including motor vehicle homicide by negligent operation. Mass State Police say he caused this crash on 95 in North Attleboro, also accusing him of leaving the scene. Uh, Mr. Pompey again travels into the leftbound lane, making contacts, causing this collision. Near exit 7, police allege that Pompey was driving southbound when he hit a white SUV, causing it to go into the median and then hit a black Jaguar on the northbound side head on. The driver of that Jaguar, 58-year-old Randall Ricketts of Foxborough, died. The driver of the white SUV, a 61-year-old Providence man, remains in critical condition. We're learning that a female passenger and her five-year-old child were also in the car, though they are in stable condition. The front end of the SUV was heavily damaged. According to court documents, police found Pompey at a parking lot of an apartment complex about a mile and a half away from the scene where he denied hitting any other cars. This defendant then gets out of his motor vehicle, attempts to change a tire and duct tape uh, numerous um, uh, brake lights and the such. Pompey's defense lawyer says his client did go off the road, but that's it. He says somebody was driving too close to him and he hit the median on the grass. A car went in. He did not, he denies that he hit any other cars. Now, Pompey was held on $50,000 cash bail. He pleaded not guilty to his charges. He'll be back here in court in October. Reporting live in Attleboro, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.